And for the first time ever competing as professionals from the Soviet Union, Valova and Vasiliev, they're now husband and wife. They were married just after their 1984 Olympic gold medal success. <laughs> visiting with them yesterday at rehearsal. Did they seem nervous to you? Yes, I do think they are tentative. They have not got a professional skating platform in the Soviet Union, and this is the first brand new experience for them. And I guess without the rules or guidelines to follow, they really didn't know what to expect. this pair from Leningrad, but they just don't seem sharp to me. No, their jumps are off, their unison is not on, and something is definitely wrong. Nerves? Probably. debuting as professionals here in Landover. A sympathetic reaction from the crowd. They were shaky. It really must have been a difficult performance for them. And they were up against seasoned professionals and who really knew what it was all about. Just because you have an Olympic gold, it doesn't mean you can automatically adjust to a professional competition. And Sandra, their troubles began early on that initial throw. That's right. They were tentative going into it. And here you can see the height isn't there. It's not bad, but she's just sluggish on the landing. Well, now let's check the scores. And, oh, those first uh, couple of marks seem high. Nine eights. Nine point eight. Even Oleg says that's uh, too generous. But they won't match the nine nines of Underhill and Martini. A 9-7, remember they throw out the nine high and the low. Let's go down to two-time Olympian and, and former U.S. Seven. champion John Misha Those Petkovic. Nice job. What happened on the throw triple toe loop? I don't know. It was wonderful. I don't know why I fell. It's just time in professional championship. Were you nervous about that? Mm. Yeah. 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 Well, listen, good luck on the artistic program. We look forward to seeing you out there then. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. So nervous they were as the technical phase finds Underhill and Martini in the lead, the Soviets in second, just ahead of the Carruthers, the pair's artistic phase.